everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. I greatly appreciate you. Um, today, I wanted to show you this little thing that I have started to do. Um, most of the time when we start a journal, we either use like chipboard and we cut it down, or many of us will try to upcycle some kind of cardboard box that we have. And that's usually what I try to do, all right? Um, I, I look for a box that is a good size for me. I don't want a big old cereal box. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll save them, and I'm going to show you what I do with those, too. But, um, yeah, I like to try to get a box where I can look at that and say, yep, yeah, that would make a good size journal, and I'll, then I can gear my paper toward this size. But one thing that I've always done is when I get it all open, I cut up all, I, not cut up, I cut off all the excess to it, okay? And um, it's, it just, I don't know, it can be a little flimsy. So I want to show you this little trick that I have kind of decided that I'm going to do from now on. So here we go. Our newest box. Now, if you look, and let me find it in here and get it for the camera just right. If you look, and let's see, can I, do you see it? Yeah, kind of, sort of, you can see it. Right here is where the box is adhered together to make it, you know, wrap all the way around. So what I do, I don't want to get off the camera here too much. I have a bad habit of doing that sometimes. Let me scooch my chair up here. Um, I go and I'll find that spot, and here it is. And then I'll gently start to pry apart right there where it is. And most of the time, I can do it sliding my finger up there without tearing it. Okay, so there's my box. Okay, now, this is going to be my spine. So when you think about what you have left then, the only thing that you really need to go ahead and get rid of are these pieces that are the side of the box that will not be the spine. Okay, now follow along with me and I'm going to show you. All right. So now, what I like to do is I like to fold in all of my pieces. And, and I know that right there is not very good, but I'll show you. Okay. Let me get my glue here. you think I'd be a little bit more prepared. All right. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. All right there, Fabri-Tac. There we go. Just had a little booger on the end. All right. All right, so that is that. Now, what I do next is I will take a miter tool. I'm trying to hold these. Let me set my glue on that one. <laughs> what I try to do then is I try to go ahead and... I don't have my cutting mat up here either. This thing is getting worn out. My rotary blade. Let me get this up here so I don't cut into my the mat that I have up here right now is the mat that I do clay and stuff on, and I don't really want to cut it. All right, so there we go. So it doesn't look like I have to really cut off very much there. All right, let's do it on this side. All right, now that's going to make it a little bit better. It's still not the best as far as less bulk. All right, but that's the premise of what you want to do. Okay. And, and we're going to finish that. I'm going to try to let those two dry. But let me show you one that I've already done and kind of show you. All right. So now this is a cracker box that I've already done. So on this side, you can see that I did not trim down those flaps. I left them as they were. 
The problem that that creates is then you have these pieces right here that when you go to find another piece of chipboard to slide in here to make your um, your covers each double width, you now you have to kind of piece it together. All right. But if you go ahead and you trim off and let's do it here, you trim off. What I do is I take my tool and I use it as my guide when I'm doing these covers. I take it to the seam and then again I use it as my guide. See I told you my my I think my rotary tool needs a new blade. All right, so let's do it over on this side as well now that we're going to do this one before we even go and cut the edges off. And on here, I like to do it too because you went, you, this part, you have this little thing here where you seal up the box. And most of the time, you're cutting about right there at it. See what I mean? So that, that's perfect. <clears throat> And on here, you can go ahead and trim this back or not. I like to. And sometimes, not always, sometimes I don't do it. It depends. Um, come on now. You being ornery. You know, y'all are saying, can she cut it already? Can she cut it? All right, so now... As you can see, that's a little bit better when you fold these over. Now, again, you can still go ahead and you can still cut back some more on each side so that they will lay perfectly flat. That's your call. See, I cut that one back too much. I should have done them one at a time to see. But that's what it would be like. All right, so now that's going to be perfectly flat, and then you find a piece of chipboard, which I don't have it in this case, but then you'll measure it so that it will fit in there perfectly, okay? So that's my little trick, because this, you know, and you also put a piece in there, of course, to double up your spine, but I'm telling you, it is so much nicer. Look at those edges. Those edges are nice and rounded. And smooth and you don't see that raw edge words of, here's the box you don't see this old raw edge and everything so a while back I did a video using the biscotti box I cannot talk today and um, and that's what I did I just folded everything back and this is the first one I ever did and so in that case I did not miter anything on the edges I left it whole and it really isn't too bad I did fill in with something in the middle to keep the um you know the body of it but it I mean this is a stout journal it's been gone through a bunch of times already by my friends and that cover is in great shape it's not wonky at all um so I really highly suggest keep your boxes intact yeah you can pull that bottom um panel off you can do all that and still flatten your box, even, you know, not even really taking it apart, just flatten it, you know, for storage. And I know what some of you are saying. What tool did you use? Um, this company, I found it on Etsy, and it's called Colorway Arts, and it's also got a website, www.colorwayarts.com, and they have all kinds of tools in there for different applications and stuff. So check them out. But try, give this a try on your next journal. Um, you know, keep your flaps intact for the most part. More this side than this side. And you'll see what I'm talking about, how it, it, it really does add more substance to your covers without adding a whole bunch of bulk. So I hope you appreciate my little tip. And um, remember that I do put up a video every Tuesday evening. I have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. I also am on Pinterest. You can come and see what I pin. Um, and I do have a small Etsy shop. Not a whole lot in it, but there might be something in it that you might like. So with that being said, please give me that thumbs up and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you down the road. Bye.